Coach, you're six for you in Manhattan. You've had a lot of good teams. I want to talk about this group and your expectations for this group. Is it as high as it's been since you got here? Yeah, absolutely. It's an experienced group of guys. We have a lot of pieces to the puzzle to to get our program in the national picture. You know, that's that's why we all came to Manhattan is to to get our team and uh, our university and our community to make a run for Omaha. Now you guys went south for a couple games. I know that was part of getting a tougher schedule this year after how things played out at the end of last season. You dropped both those. Still worth it though to, to get that experience in games that I know you didn't win them, but probably can prepare you guys for Big 12 play. Would you agree? Yeah, absolutely. You know, did we did we take advantage of an opportunity that was in front of us? No. You know, to get national respect, we wish we played better. Yeah. You know, and took advantage of that opportunity. So what what do you do? You move forward. You take what you learned on this past week, Tuesday and Wednesday, and playing in those venues, mm -hmm. and it's going to make our program a tougher team down the road when we play in tough venues in the Big 12. You mm -hmm. know, so. Nothing's a waste of time. It was just a missed opportunity, but we're going to gain and grow from it, and our program will be better for it. You want to talk about Tyson? Is he is he throwing? How's he doing? It, you know, Tyson's just when you have a kid that's going to play a lot of baseball and has a long career ahead of mm -hmm. him, you you err on the safe side. Right. I've never put a a player health ahead of me winning a baseball right. game and that's not going to start this year so we're going to be super cautious with Tyson and, mm -hmm. and when he's ready to pitch he's going to be ready to pitch. Kalen, he looks and and plays like a big league ball player to me. Yep that's that's a good assessment um, and he has been that way since he's been on our campus mm -hmm. and, but he's also grown and matured physically and as a baseball player. The players that go make long careers out of this thing get mm -hmm. better every single year. Mm -hmm. Fiercely loyal to Kansas State and Kansas State baseball and fiercely loyal to his teammates. But um, great things ahead for him. It, it, it'll be a sad day next year where I don't mm -hmm. write his name in the lineup. How much has your job changed from even probably three or four years ago? How much of your job do you actually get to just get on the field and coach your guys? Uh, we're still coaching every day, you know, right. but but the name of this game is whoever has the best players is usually going to win. Recruiting-wise, I didn't evaluate one athlete this summer. Mm -hmm. and, and my summers have been spent consumed recruiting and evaluating. I was talking to alums. I was educating alums about baseball scholarship structure. Mm -hmm. They don't know there's 11.7 scholarships yeah. divided between 30 players. They, they think all the baseball players are on full scholarships yeah. with cost of attendance checks and all of that. Yeah. We don't have that. Now I'm educating them about NIL and the market that's out there, these donors. We're compensating players through alumni monies. That's just unheard of. And, right. and, and now it's, it's so part of the every conversation. So you better be part of it. Do you still enjoy it? Oh, it sounds like the answer is yes, but it, it hasn't become so much that it's unenjoyable. Well, if I was like Coach Saban and I won six national championships, <laughs> I probably wouldn't be enjoying right. it that much. But I still love it. Yeah. It's just um, the competitive nature of, of recruiting. Mm -hmm. It's just how I'm wired. I, I, I don't know how to do anything else. And um, I don't see that that love of college baseball and competition leaving me anytime soon, despite the landscape. It's just another arena to compete in. You know, mm -hmm. how are we gonna be more of a presence in the portal? Mm -hmm. And then you get consumed in recruiting the portal kids and you get consumed into educating our alums so, so we can have a strong NIL presence. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's all about competing. That's why we're all here. That's all, that's all how we're mm -hmm. wired. It all starts at the top. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't have the right athletic director who's a true mm -hmm. coach's athletic director, who's in the trenches with you, win or lose, and is going to support you mm -hmm. and is a real person. So it begins and ends with Gene Taylor. And uh, I've been a lot of different places. And this is across the board the highest level yeah. of, of success that I've been around and really successful, good people. What, what is it specifically that he does the right way? Because, because you're not the only coach that we've heard say, it, man, he's the reason that, that we're here or that things are going well. Well, everything that comes out of his mouth is real, mm -hmm. you know, and that's that's not the case across the board with Power 5 ADs. Right, it's right. just not. I've been around. He's not making decisions uh, through social media or message boards. He's listening to his coach and the people he hired and believing in them mm -hmm. and supporting them. And and that goes a long way yeah. in this day and age yeah. when, when you know that that guy who runs your department, who hired you, has your back no matter what, mm -hmm. and your student athletes back. Yeah, yeah. Danny shows up. I mean, he's at almost every one of yeah, our games. Yeah. You go down to the Big 12 baseball tournament, there's one AD up there, yeah. and it's Gene, you know, because he's part of it. He's part of every program. And you know, the whole family cliche, it, it's real, and um, it, it doesn't happen without that leadership at the yeah. top. Coach, thanks for your time. Good luck in Big 12 play, and uh, if I get any great ideas for that backdrop, I'll let you know. Yep, let me know. Thanks, right. Glenn.